Right. So we're here with uh, with Connor Swift, one of the team's most successful uh, riders in 2017. Looking forward to 2018. Yeah, I mean, last year was uh, it was great with the team and everything like that. So going into 2018, hopefully a better season, uh, more wins along the way, and uh, yeah, it's looking looking forward to a good year. You had a number of wins, uh, two series wins, and, and and that last year. What are you looking forward to? In 2018, what are what are your sort of goals? How can you better that? Well, as a as a team, we're wanting to go to the Tour Series and win the team competition. So that's a huge aim for the team. To beat GLT this this year, we was close last year. So this year, we're going to uh, take that step. Um, and then, I think it'll be a case of Rutland would be quite a nice nice target. Um, and then the races that we do abroad as well. Uh, on a personal note, uh, getting up there in some UCI races yeah. that'd be uh, that'd be a good good step to take, and um, yeah, that, that, that's what I, I'm aiming for. Yeah. How do you feel you are personally with your form, with, with I don't know any any improvements over 2017? Uh, I've uh, yeah this this winter I've kind of stuck solidly to uh, a few gym sessions a week. I've been in the pool quite a bit as well, swimming, um, and then we've. I went away on a camp in January, uh, just a personal one, and then we had a team camp uh, beginning of Feb, and we're going to go away again uh, tomorrow. So three camps before the season, I think that's three good blocks, um, and I, I f I'm feeling good at the minute, feeling strong and uh, keen to get racing, yeah. Now, I've got to ask you, there was a little bit of banter between you and Ben going on on Twitter about him being somewhere warm. Did you end up going? Oh well, it, the thing was, I, w I was out there the week before with him. That, oh, so right. yeah, I was out in Gran Canaria with him, and then I came back. He came back too, and then he went back out there. And obviously, I was going away to the team team camp, but I wasn't going for another five five days or so. So yeah, yeah he was out in the sun, and I was. I can remember I was sat in a cafe when he phoned me, <laughs> just trying to warm up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's uh, no, it's, it was good. I, obviously, I got away with Ben in January to Gran Canaria, so doing the same sort of training that he's doing before he's going off and doing the big classics and things like that it was a good insight and he's flying at the minute yeah for yourself going into 2018 you're going in there with a lot more confidence with this team than you did at the beginning of 2017 uh, yeah I'd say so yeah um, I think uh, some of the guy like in races and that some, like if, if I'm feeling good I might get the guys get behind me or something like that but I mean, I'm going to work for the other guys in the team as well. It's it's not like there's no individual in this team that is the leader for every race. Everyone gets the opportunities uh, and everyone chips in as well. Uh, yeah, it's it's good. Now, when you win races, you're a photographer's dream. <laughs> the, the celebration, the joy, it is just something to behold. Yeah. Does it mean, is winning just that much of a buzz? Yeah, definitely. I think... Uh, when you win, it's just you just like release quite a lot of emotions and yeah. just the fact that if you've had a plan before the race and you're being backed for all that race and then you pull it off, it's just like a huge relief and yeah, just don't crack under the pressure and <laughs> just yeah, I, I, I like a good celebration. Yeah, yeah it's good, real yeah. fun. Just talk about your winter, your winter training. What is it? Uh, just talking to to one of the guys there and he was saying it's it's all efforts. It's, it's mm. there's no junk miles if you like what about your your own your own type of training uh well off the back of tour of britain i kind of had a, a week off and then I, I just had a bit of fun on the cross yeah. bike did a few local cross races beginning of october went on a holiday with a girlfriend had another week off and then uh, got back bit and bobbing on the cross bike and then getting a bit more serious november december just long miles really november december no real efforts going out on the chain gangs and stuff on the weekend they, they were like the bit of a top end stuff and then obviously coming into January and over the Christmas period, I was a little bit sick, so yeah. I had a few days off the bike, but I was feeling good on the bike. Um, and then I, yeah, I went straight away on camp. So I've had two camps now, and they've consisted of a lot of um, efforts. Uh, I've, I've been doing quite a lot of talk efforts, and yeah, now it's getting close towards the season. The efforts are starting to get a lot shorter and more like VO2 threshold sort of stuff. But along with all all the the biking um 
like I've already said, I've, I've been in the gym twice a week. Um, so I've kind of done like a, a strength session and then a more of a functional session. And I, I felt that have a big impact on the bike, to be fair. Um, and then on those days, I've also been in the pool swimming. So obviously you can't, you can't say how much of a difference that's made, but I mean, I've been enjoying the swimming and you get quite swim fit. And I know that that sport carries quite a lot of... Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I think that'll definitely help going into this season. And how do you how do you rest? We're talking about <laughs> how you train. How do yeah, you yeah. Rest? Uh, I just chill out really. Uh, I'll have maybe one one sort of rest day per week, and then m- my coach Kevy gives me. So we have like three weeks on, and then like one Mr. sort of easier week. Yeah, Mr. Dawson. Yeah. So Mr. PPAR. That's it. Yeah, he's uh, still flying at the moment, <laughs> but yeah. So resting wise, it's just a case of I know might just spend time with a girlfriend. Um, I do enjoy just resting ahead more than physically, maybe. Yeah, just I don't know, maybe just chill out, um, watch a few films or TV series or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just, not eating, sleeping, and breathing bites. No, no, have, have a bit of fun. Um, so that's to come, I guess, during the season, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because it's a pretty intense season, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, at this level, you can get, uh, like this level uh, intensity. I, I know that there's a, going on to like a World Tour, a Pro Continental team. They've got even more stress, and the season's even longer. But even at this level, like we, you, you're racing in Europe. You've got a full month for Tour Series, basically, and then you got Tour de York. Tour de York, you're going straight into Tour Series. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of races that are crammed together. Uh, and it's quite a long season and a fair bit of travelling, but it's uh, it's our job. Yeah. yeah. Finally, when are they, when are you when are you pinning a number on? Um, when do you aim? Oh yeah, so get back from this camp on sixth of March. Mm. So it's a twelve day camp, and then got a couple of days in between. And I'm going to race Evesham and Roy Tame Cup. Uh, so double up that weekend, two national B's there. Um, so that'll be the first first smaller race that I'll do. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully try and get selected for Normandy. Yeah. So we'll have a week in between, and then hopefully maybe Normandy might be the first big race of the season. And then obviously working towards Tour of Yorkshire. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Being a Yorkshire boy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, four days this year, so yeah, yeah it's going to be tough. Um, but yeah, if I get selected for that, then yeah, it's a great race. Real, real good to have all that home support on the roads, and yeah, see, so give that a good crack. Thank yeah. you very much, Connor. No problem. Even though he's from Bath. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> never going to forget that one, are we? <laughs>